And so your skills, you should be happy with what you're doing. You should be getting better every week. Uh, elbows are straight, you're getting under your balloon, you're striking or hitting the balloon or ball in your forearm, the area between your wrist and your elbow, all right? So that's still our focus. But before we get into today's lesson, I just want to remind you that every single day we are Tiger Strong. You are moving your bodies, you're getting outside, you're doing your fitness skills, you're doing your PE skills, boys and girls, you're doing what you love to do, to be active and healthy. All right, so let's get into today's lesson. Our objective today is to learn and practice an underhand serve for volleyball. Hopefully you still have a balloon. If your balloon has popped, or your dog bit it, or your little brother was playing with it, Boys and girls, I do not have any extra balloons, but they are not very expensive to purchase at a store. Again, you could use a beach ball. All right, you could use a beach ball. If you have a volleyball, you could use a volleyball. Um, I know that some students I've heard are using soccer balls. It's gonna hurt when you serve it today, but if that's what you have, we all have different things at home, so use what you can use. So let's get into the underhand serve. Um, underhand serve, you hold the ball with one hand, all right? I'm standing sideways. You're not gonna face your opponent on net. And I want y'all to say hi to Miss Biddle, all right? She's here helping me today, I wanna thank you. And also I just wanna give a shout out to Miss Holdren. She's the one that's making these videos for us, and so we just, I wanna be really thankful for her too. So when you're playing volleyball, we're gonna imagine there's a net here, a volleyball net between me and Miss Biddle. I want this balloon to get over the net, all right? Or at least as close to over the net. So I'm gonna stand sideways, all right? I'm gonna hold the balloon in front of me. Um, I like to keep my hand in a fist when I serve, all right? So I'm gonna just bend my knees and look at where I'm hitting it to, which is over the net to Mrs. Biddle. I'm gonna get under and I'm gonna hit it up. She's just catching it, all right? Um, I want the person you're playing with just to catch it. We're just practicing our underhand serves. So let's try that again. All right, bend your knees, get under it, and hit it up over the net. Now, again, when you have a balloon, it always doesn't go where you want it to go, but the thing we're working on is getting under and striking with our hand, all right? That's our underhand serve. Um, the past couple of weeks, you've been practicing just getting under it, moving to it, using control, and then you also had a partner throwing the balloon to you over that imaginary net and you're getting back under it. All right, so you bend your legs and you get under it. Let's try it again. Awesome, Miss Biddle, you gotta move forward to it. But I want you to look at my lower body. I'm getting under, my elbows are straight. All right, thank you, Miss Biddle. That is our volleyball lesson for today. And love it, yay, thank you. All right, our fitness focus is still planks, all right? Um, if you're doing these every day, they are getting easier. Your core is getting stronger. I'm just gonna remind you of what a plank looks like. I'm gonna go over some details. When you get into an elbow plank, bent elbow, your elbow should be directly below your shoulder. Don't have it out here in front of you. For good support, it should be directly under your shoulder. Look at my feet, boys and girls. My feet are together, I'm on my toes. Some of you do it this way, that's okay if that's easier. I like doing it with my toes together. Your head is looking straight down at the floor. Do not look at your feet, do not lift your head up that way. When you do that, it really puts your neck into a bad position. It's not a healthy position. All right, the other way you can do planks is straight arms. Again, you want your hand directly under your shoulders. Don't be leaning back this way. No volcanoes, all right? So you wanna be as flat as you can with your hands directly under your shoulders. All right, so that's our planks. Our health focus today is vitamin D from the sun. Vitamin D is something that's really important for our bodies. You might notice that your carton of milk says vitamin D on it, all right? So vitamin D is important for healthy bones, growing, all of those things that you're doing right now. But the other thing 
that vitamin D is good for is it helps you fight infection. It helps you fight disease, all right? Our bodies need it. One of the ways you can get it, so easy. Go outside, go outside in the sun. We've got good sunshine here. So go outside in the middle of the day on your lunch breaks. I've been walking around school. My shirt, my arms are exposed. I don't wear long sleeves, short sleeve shirt. And I let the, my skin absorb the sun. Our bodies do with sunshine kind of what plants do when they do photosynthesis, boys and girls. So you want your be out in the sun, the sun hits your skin, your body then turns that sunlight into vitamin D and it makes your body healthier and you're able to fight infections and disease and that kind of thing. So go outside and get some vitamin D from the sun. It's free. All right, our activity this week is going to be practicing, continuing to practice your volleyball skills, but most importantly, learning how to serve that balloon or ball underhand to a partner. They catch it and you serve it back to them. All right, boys and girls, remember, you wanna get outside and be active every day and be tiger strong.